This is the Krillcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And I'm Arash. And we've been hinting at this video all week, but before we talk about what Arash's suggestion is, why don't you guys uh, go check out his channel? What's your channel all about? Yeah, so I make like, I, I like to describe it as kind of variety gaming channel. I make a mixture of like game reviews. I kind of just put out my opinion on different games and then occasionally we do different gameplay videos. I do a lot of videos on the Halo franchise so mm -hmm. if you like Halo then there'll be a lot for you. Uh, other than that it, I kind of just dip my toes into other games as, as I'm feeling it. Like I did a review on the new Doom last week so if you're kind of curious about that game you can check it out or recently I, I went back and played a couple of the the first Call of Duties so you can kind of see what they're like if you uh, never played them or you don't remember so it's kind of interesting to go back and, and play old games like that and see if they hold up at all they don't really but you can, st <laughs> you can still find matches in them which is kind of surprising unlike Halo go back and play an old Halo game they still hold up yeah they do <laughs> um, so I just want to recommend, I'm going to plug this video again. If you're really on the fence about Doom Eternal, go watch this video. It'll tell you whether or not you should or should not buy the new game. Um, and if you like Doom 2016, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but he'll talk about that too. Um, <laughs> very cool. Now, he wants to recommend a game that if you go and check out, if you just search this, his videos come up in like the top couple videos, like, like right here. Boom and boom. Two of his videos, so you know that he's one of the best... Uh, pieces of information on this type, this specific game <laughs> because if you want to play it he's got two of the top five videos suggested so that's true why don't you go so, talk about it yeah the, the question is am I suggesting the game for the game or myself you'll, <laughs> you'll never know no I'm just kidding so speaking I've made... of that go subscribe to his channel he's at 963 <laughs> 37 subs gets him to a thousand that's true but yeah, so I've made, actually, I've made three videos on Splitgate. When it first came out, I made a review on it, kind of, if so, if you want to hear my opinions on what I thought of the game when it first came out, you can. And then, like, a few months later, I kind of made a video about what I thought went wrong and why they had lost so many players. And then, like, another, like, I think it was, like, six or eight months later, I kind of made another video to try and look back on it with more of a positive light because, mm -hmm. to my surprise, the game still was holding players, and I kind of... I had expected it to keep bleeding until the point that you couldn't, you weren't able to play it anymore. Mm -hmm. But if you're curious what Splitgate is and you've never played it, the easiest way to describe it is kind of you took a Halo game and you threw in some Halo portals. So it, it definitely has a unique feel to it just because the portals completely like change up the flow and the way maps work and the speed of the game than if you play obviously if you just play a halo game it, it it's it feels totally different even though a lot of the weapons will be very familiar like there's a battle rifle there's a sniper rifle there's a pistol there's an assault rifle <laughs> there's a rail gun like uh, there's even a a bat which is just a gravity hammer but it's a baseball <laughs> bat <laughs> so the weapons aren't the most creative thing in the world but mm. there's some familiarity to them so that's it's kind of cool but yeah i I enjoy the game. I think it's pretty fun, and like I said, surprisingly, it's 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 a small player base, but it's still holding players, and the people playing it seem to be pretty loyal to the game. They like it, and the devs from the little bit that Vive interacted with them are pretty cool. It's a small company that makes it, so this isn't by any means some type of like AAA game. It's it actually started as it was a I think it was a couple of dudes. It was sort of their like uh, their graduate their grad their master level project in college, and I, it kind of had good reception. So they they turned it into like a full fledged game. And so yeah, it's fun. I would if you like FPSs and you want something new to check out, it's free to play, so you can check it out. Very cool. I'm definitely going to tag yes. their uh, Twitter account when we uh, release this video. So This actually uh, does look really cool. I need to check this out this weekend. You said it was free to play, right? Yep. Cool. Um, Will's going to recommend Lord of the Flies. So No. Huh, no. Well, it's, it is a good book, I will say, and a good movie. But um, see if I can get them lined up correctly this time. Nope. Okay. Right. <laughs> so uh, I'm rec recommending two games just because this is like the whole series. So if you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings movies, uh, these games are based off those movies uh, instead of based off the books. 
So it's, they're really cool. Uh, they're just a typical RPG where you get to you know role play as you know characters from the Fellowship, and you can go through and upgrade your weapons and your move sets, and you're just basically playing through every battle scene that's in the movies. So it covers, even though it's only just the two towers and the Return of the King, it does cover all the battles from the Fellowship of the Ring. So you know when you're fighting the when they're fighting the Urukai by those, I should know what they are those like ruins right at the end of the the first movie. Uh, and then, you know, everything that happens in the Two Towers and then, you know, the Return of the King. There is a game based off the Fellowship of the Ring that's based off the book, and it's terrible. Do not <laughs> play that game. <laughs> so I, I don't is The Hobbit is bad? The Hobbit is also terrible. So both, both of those games are actually based off the books. So, and if you ever read the books, they're fantastic, but they're very slow compared to the movies. Uh, and so the, the games based off of them are very slow. These ones are much more action-packed. You're basically just going around fighting. It has an interesting uh, camera angle, so you're always like third person, but sort of like a bystander angle. Um, and sometimes they get kind of janky, but the way that they have everything set up, it, is, it holds up to this day. It's still pretty nice. Um, and what's really cool is at this time, uh, Warner Brothers movies, like whatever games they were putting out at the time, had clips of the actual film in the game as their cutscenes. So, or, or clips of the actual movie as in the game. I don't know if that's what I said. <laughs> and uh, so what's really cool about this is if you're a fan of these movies is that there's some scenes that didn't actually make it into the films because these games came out before like the finalized version of the film and you know some of those things got cut so you'll get to see Gandalf you know being a BA whereas he doesn't do as much in the films and just you know other random tidbits of things that you never get to see so it's, it's pretty cool Absolutely. and also you get to see Sam you know Chopping works, and you never actually get to see that in the film. So, <laughs> well, not only that, but um, what get what other what other um, ports did this game have? Will there was a PC version? I'm sure that's what you're about to pull out. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I mean, I believe it's on every system. <laughs> yeah, I have the PC port. It's actually uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, it'll interface with an X wired Xbox 360 controller, which I just found that out yesterday or the day before. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. So I've used that. That's a good way to play it. Um, but also the keyboard, you know, whatever whatever you prefer. The PC version is a little superior to the Xbox, but not by much. Um, they really didn't do anything extra to it. Um, yeah, between cool. the three consoles, though, the Xbox One or Xbox One, the Xbox version is better than the GameCube and the PS2 versions. Oh yeah, yeah, by far. Uh, these games are not expensive either. If you go on eBay and go buy them, um, it's a real easy thing to recommend because they're so cheap mm -hmm. and fun. I'm going to recommend something that's probably going to come as no surprise to anybody that's watched this channel. Um, we haven't talked about it in a while. I'm going to be talking about it in the future here on uh, the week of 420. I'm going <laughs> to... I know it Wait, sounds Wait, what funny. are you recommending? <laughs> Don't do it, Chris. Fire I know three it's houses. legal in Michigan now. <laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, and the reason we're going to be talking about this series on the week of 420 is because actually 420 of this year is the 30 year anniversary of the original Fire Emblem game. <laughs> Which, if anybody didn't know that, I'm a huge fan of Fire Emblem. Just FYI. Going forward, you may see more videos on Fire Emblem in the future. Um, but Fire Emblem Three Houses, I just finally picked up a Switch. Shout out to Billy for selling me my Switch. I don't know if it's a shout out. Either way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he did shout out us, so there's your shout out, Billy. Um, <laughs> go watch that video if you haven't yet. He um, did a video on, he got a VR set, actually, and he played the Walking Dead game, and he said that the zombies should, instead of fighting him, go eat the Krill cast. And I said, no, no, they shouldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, the game is literally epic. Um, it's if he took the best parts of Fire Emblem Fates and Fire Emblem Echoes, put them together, and added some Persona-esque stuff to it and you put it together in like the most logical and perfect way possible. This game is practically perfect. It's everything I could have asked for coming from the last Fire Emblem Echoes game, which had one of the most fantastic stories, most complete stories of a Fire Emblem game ever. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't played Fire Emblem Echoes, go play that one too. That one's great. I've already recommended it. I'm gonna say it again. It's a great game. Fire Emblem Three Houses though is almost a perfect game. Um, I don't know where to land on my top five Fire Emblem games yet, but it is in my top five. So that says something, because previously the top five for me were Fire Emblem Echoes, Path of Radiance, uh, 
the original Fire Emblem on the GBA, which is actually called uh, Blazing Sword. I'm pretty sure it's called Blazing Sword. Don't quote me on that because there's a Japanese <laughs> one. I always mix up six and seven with each other because uh, one of them re was released in the West and the other one wasn't. And the West release was literally just called Fire Emblem because why why give it the subtitle if you don't have to since it's never released in the West before that release? But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, definitely some of the best uh, Final Emblem games ever. Um, those three. And then my fourth is probably Fire Emblem 4, but most of you probably haven't played that one because it was a Japanese-only release. <laughs> yes. No, I'm sorry, 3. Mystery of the Emblem. It's the most Ooh. complete of the first four games because it's got a, a, a the original story from number 1, and it's got a continued story that was also only released in Japan for reasons that Nintendo has never explained. I don't know why, but Fire Emblem 3 is great. So, those are my top four plus this three houses now. I don't have a specific <laughs> order. I'll rank them later. I'll tell you what they are when we do Fire Emblem okay. Week. There you go. Sounds good. Anyways, as always, I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And I'm Arash. And definitely go subscribe to Arash. It's yes. been a pleasure having you on here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll have to have you on again in the future. Maybe make this an annual thing, have him on yeah, when he has hopefully 10 Hopefully we don't have subs. to repeat the same week again. Yeah, I was going to say maybe next time, though, we can just do the episode once. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he'll have 10K subs next year, so he probably won't want to work with us anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you next Crowcast. Bye, guys. Toodles. Thank you.